everybody, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today. I am excited to be part of Ulta News product release Blog Hop, and I'm going to be sharing a card with you today featuring a layering die cut pattern. So I ended up creating this card based on an apron that I saw, and I really loved this. I found this at a local shop, and I loved the pattern, so I ended up taking a picture of it. And it was these beautiful bold blue flowers on a white background and it had some other images kind of ghosted into the background very light and faint but it added some really interesting texture so i wanted to create something that mimicked that apron so i decided to use some of these new products from altenew these flowers are the rose filament dies and are brand new from altenew and i love the sketchy feel of them they have a really beautiful loose design and I think you can use these in a lot of different ways. I've been really enjoying incorporating these into my cards lately. I've got quite a few different ideas and I also have done a few different things with these dies and I'll be sharing these in the future. So what you're seeing me do here is I'm die cutting a bunch of these flowers. I die cut all of them four times and I'm layering them together to create a more dimensional element. This is going to allow me to pop this up off of my card, not with foam tape, but by layering multiples of these together that creates a more sturdier die cut and it also adds relief off of the card because it's multiple layers of cardstock. So that's how I ended up creating the flowers and I did that for all of them. So I just die cut all of them four times from blue cardstock and then went ahead and layered them all together. Now the apron, as you can see, features some ghosted images behind the bold flowers and images and it also features some text. So I wanna be able to incorporate those into my design also. So for that, I'm going to use the new More Than Words stamp set, which features a lot of beautiful script sentiments. And I thought this would look really nice behind my flowers. So I'm going with cool tones here. So I'm using some Silverstone gray ink from Altenew. And I'm gonna stamp this three times onto my white card base. The reason I'm gonna stamp this three times, and I'm gonna stamp this in multiple areas three times, I'm going to stamp this to create a visual triangle. So when you look at this, you can visually form a triangle by basically connecting the three together and that helps balance out the design. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that with that Silverstone ink and then I'm going to bring in some images from an older Altenew set. I do have all the products linked in the video description or at my blog. I'm gonna stamp this in some Arctic ink, which is also from Altenew. And I'm going to end up stamping this multiple times because Arctic ink does stamp extremely light and I want this to be a little bit darker, but I loved the tone of the Arctic ink. So just by stamping it multiple times, I can get a darker impression of that same ink. I stamped this in some random areas, trying to keep it more focused around the words because I do want to have some wide open white spaces just like the apron did. I'm also gonna bring in some of the smaller images from that same stamp set that the flowers were from. And I'm gonna stamp these multiple times to be able to create that darker impression of the Arctic ink. Now the apron didn't feature this, but I do wanna add some splatters to the background just to add a little bit of extra darker pops of color and also a little bit more texture. Now I'm going to start layering my die cuts onto the card base. I'm using liquid glue to apply these down. I'm forming a little bit of a triangle here again. I've got one down towards the bottom and then I've got two areas of clustered flowers. So that's going to help balance everything and I'm trying to keep everything focused on where the words and flowers are stamped. So again, I have some white areas. To help hold these flowers down onto my card as I'm adhering them, I'm using some just heavier objects to help make sure that the flowers and the cardstock bond together with the glue. And that's gonna help hold everything in place. I die cut a sentiment with the script word dies from Altenew. I die cut this from multiple pieces of blue cardstock and then layered a white piece on top. So that way when you see it from the side, you still see some blue. And then I also heat embossed and stamped a sentiment down along the bottom to help finish off the entire card. One more final step was to add some embellishing. So I used some pretty pink posh clear droplets in both the large and small sizes. And I just scattered those in a few areas. And then again, like I said, I created a second version of this card. This is a red version. So I ended up using a little bit darker tones in the background and some different images but it still has the same exact design and I use the exact same method to create the card just by switching up the colors. If you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to check the video description below because I do have a link over to my blog as this is part of the Ulta New product release blog hop. There are giveaways associated with the blog hop so you wanna check that out. And if you're interested, I do have a product release video that shows all of the new products from Altenew's newest release. So if you're interested in seeing more products from Altenew, I would encourage you to check that out 
And I also have additional inspirational pieces on my blog as well using some of the new products. So thanks so much for watching this video. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more inspiration. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.